finally, we have got to the approximants in English. So, the manner of articulation of an approximant. Um, one articulator moves close to another, but not close enough to cause friction or to stop the air flow. And uh, let's see what are the characteristics of the palate alveolar approximant. Um, R is articulated with the tip of the tongue held near but not touching the rear part of the upper teeth ridge. The back sides of the tongue touch the upper teeth. R -r -r. Okay, how is it spelled? With the help of our double R as in road, Mary arrive. Now, da -dum -da -dum, semi vowels, E and U. Hmm, why are they included here? Is there a mistake? No. So um, these uh, sounds are vowel glides. They are called semi vowels, presumably because they are based on uh, the vowels E uh, and U. Uh, in addition, they have the acoustic characteristics of vowels. But um, they are generally grouped um, together with consonants because they have a consonantal function in the language. For example, they cannot be used as the nucleus of a syllable. So what are the characteristics? So E is unrounded, palatal, voiced, and frictionless. And um, its spelling, it can be st spelled with the help of Y as in yes or yot, with the help of I, uh, E, when followed by schwa as in pinion, uh, familiar. U plus consonant plus vowel as in university, huge. EU or EW as in eulogy or new. Now, characteristics of the um, semi-vowel w, it is rounded, labiovelar, w, right? Both leaves are involved and it is also um, a velar sound and non-fricative. How is it spelled? With the help of W in initial position as in uh, where, want, W after consonants as in sweet, 20. U, especially when preceded by Q or G, as in quick language. O, I, R, as in memoir, reservoir. Exceptional, one, once, persuade, assuage, sweet. The letter W is not pronounced in to, answer, pay attention because it's a quite uh, uh, commonly encountered mistake. Uh, again, sharing my experience. So it's answer, uh, sword, who, ho. It is not pronounced when it is followed by R as in wrist, right, wrong, and Greenwich and Norwich. So practice makes perfect. Let's do it.